Alrighty, we're gonna get started here. So we are gonna be playing a Vanifar Resto, a um, bit of an updated version of it. So I've been playing this deck a lot, um, and I wasn't really happy with the mana base um, that we've been playing around with. So what I've settled on now is, because this is the restoration version, it's really focused on the Bant colors other than our five drop and then one four drop. So what I went with was, um, two flooded strands for the fetches, three wooded foothills, and then four windswept heats. Um, and then in addition to that, uh, I'm, I'm going with two breeding pools here for the shocks, one hollowed fountain, one sacred foundry, one steam fence, two stomping grounds, and then one temple garden. I also messed around with the basics a little bit. I went with two forests, two islands, and a plains, because there's a lot of times I wanted to get that single island in there. I mean, that single plains. Um, and a lot of the previous versions I've been playing this deck played three forests and two islands. Um, so I wanted to get that other plains in there to help with it. I also cut the groves. Um, I have really been enjoying the groves. I, I like being able to fetch up the lands I want right away. Um, and then that way I can set myself up as best possible. Um, there's still a lot of red in the shocks because I want to be able to set up uh, Kiki Jiki if, if necessary. And then I should be able to snag up a single red source pretty easily to play the Hunt Master or the Zealous. Um, with the one drops here, this is still pretty standard. I'm going the four birds, four nobles. Um, in the two drop slots, I've changed it quite a bit from what you've seen some other people play. So others are trying out the Spell Sky, Scavengers, we've tried that out as well. Um, I went with two Wall of Roots, one Scrib Ranger, which is pretty standard. Usually you see that. Sometimes people go one wall up to three walls, but I went down to just two. Um, I'm also playing a Phantasmal Image. Um, I find that it's really helpful in comboing off or just getting another relevant piece that you already have in play. Um, in the three drop slot, so we've got the Eldritch Evolutions and the Chords that you see over here as well. Um, and then the there's so much burn going on around right now that Kitchen thinks is just at a premium. So I'm playing three of those, one Reflector, one Renegade, and then only one Deceiver Exer. Now I know that's pretty interesting. Um, I know I was going to play around with two, but I decided to go back down to one. Because this version is really not focused on combo. It's kind of like just like stabilizing. And then once you got a couple creatures on board, you're able to combo off pretty easily. Um, and I did find that to be the case. Um, in our four drop slots, we have three Restos, one Shalai, one, uh, one Hot Master, and then four Prime Speakers. In the fives, we got one Zealous, two Kikis, and and then the new card that I'm trying out is Sun Titan um, over the Bellower, just because I wanted to be able to fetch up um, any of these if they're in our graveyard, and I love comboing Sun Titan into Phantasmal. In our side, um, not that much has changed. Uh, Kataki's still there, Eidolon, two Abrades, Ancient Grudge, and then a Magus. That's that's all pretty standard from a lot of lists I've seen. Um, I'm going with two Oozes, two Trackers, a Thrun, and a Thragtus. Um, I'm going with two Knight of Autumns here. Um, debatably, I was going to bounce with a, either like one Knight of Autumn and one Reclamation Sage, just in case I get cut off from it. But I'm, I'm going with the two Knights here because I, 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 right now I just want the extra life gain because I'm just... This last weekend I went to a tournament and I played so much burn. Um, I'm also playing a one of Kosali just so I don't get locked out if they play like a Torpor Orb. I can cord up a Kosali or Eldritch into a Kosali and then blow up their Torpor Orb because we did lose a game to that. So without much further ado, we're going to just jump right into my league.
Okay, so this is a bit annoying. We only got a one lander, um, and we're on the draw. Um, if they were to Inquisition away on this Bird's Paradise, we'd be in trouble. So I'm going to go ahead and mulligan this. Two lands. I feel more comfortable keeping this, since we also have a wall. And there's a third land. Eldritch right now, we could go get a Resto, a Huntmaster. I want to get out this Prime Speaker. We could. Shock ourselves, drop the Prime Speaker, pass it over to them. It could result in us having to give up the, the wall. If we don't have to give up the wall, then I think we will. So we're just going to do that. We play in a good chunk of enchantments, then we're not going to be good. But maybe like a daybreak stops us, but other than that, we're going to be alright. Earth Spoon, we're okay with that as well. Here we can go Prime Speaker, Sack Wall, get Deceiver. Then we could cast Zealous. After that, steal their Dryad Arbor, I guess, or their Temple Garden, doesn't really matter. And then um, Prime Speaker still would be untapped, so that's not an issue. And then we sack Deceiver to get Resto, Resto Blinks, Zealous, and then untaps again. Then we go get Kiki Jiki and we win. So. go noble sack it get a phantasmal copy deceiver you know sack the uh, the copy deceiver get a resto resto blank the deceiver and then go kiki kiki jiki as well um, yeah i guess i kind of like that line more just in case some, they have something because we, then we'd have an eldritch yeah actually so let's do that
Pretty good. Alright. We want to bring in our enchantment hate here. So I'm going to bring in the Knight of Autumns and the Quasali. Um, I, I'm finally keeping the Reflector Mage here because I can bounce their um, their Lord creature. The name is completely skipping me right now. <laughs> Sorry. But well, you can definitely get rid of that. So we're going to keep that in there. Uh, I'm going to get rid... I want to keep the rest of those because they can blink a, a lot of um, our Knight of Autumns. Um, I don't think we need the Huntmaster necessarily, so we're going to get rid of that. And we're going to get rid of one Kiki. Don't need to really worry about coming off too hard here. I want to keep the Sun Tank because it can ret recur a lot of this uh, hate. I'm going to get rid of one Finx. Um, one should be more than enough. And I think we're good with that. Solid hand. I'm gonna keep that. We can ramp into a deceiver and then into a Vanifar. Next time we're going to sack that wood files and get a steam vent so we'll, uh, we'll most likely tap down one of their lands on their turn just to just to slow them down a bit. Protection from creatures is pretty good. Alright, so I want to do this on their upkeep. Dropping a ton of enchantments, which we're good with. So we can either run out the Prime Speaker here, or drop the Resto, or drop the Eldritch. If we go Resto at their turn, we can um, Eldritch into a Kiki Jiki, which isn't bad. Um, I like the Prime Speaker, I think, the most, though, if we just run it out right now, because it allows us to still. It allows us to protect something with Resto if we need it. And then we can just Eldritch into something later on if they do stop us. So. Spirit Dancer with a name I could not remember for the life of me. Just gonna hmm, to the fur green. Um, we're just gonna go with that same line. We're gonna try to sack this and go get a phantasma. Copy the deceiver. We'll untap. Receiver. Alright, they're gonna try to path right here. And we're 
shifters going to Presto, flanked by the Seaver. Do you want to use that ability? I would love a Kiki Jiki. Targets, always yes, and always yield. Hoot, game match one out of the way. We are 2 and 0, crushing it. For this next one, okay. Looks like we're on the draw again. This so hand is not bad at all. We're gonna go bird into wall, into resto, into geeky win. Easy, no problem. source here if we need it most likely this is gonna have to be a sacred foundry um, I didn't want to shock myself right now because they may be on the Phoenix deck and I try to want to try to preserve my life a good bit there if they get a pretty strong hand we are gonna be uh, taking a ton of damage snow island might mean it is <sighs> storm though Zero. No, we don't want that. Wall and pass it over. There's a brawl. So here, I think I just want to play the Flood Strand and pass it over. And we can end of turn Resto if we need to. Um, because if we tap out for the Vanifar right now, we're probably just going to lose. And I'd like to be able to hold up the cord to fetch up something if necessary. Because we can go get like a Reflector Mage just to bounce their... Um, just to bounce their Baral and annoy them a little bit. Or uh, I mean, if we get one more mana, we could even get it in a Shalai, which would be cool. And if they remand it, we're probably dead. <laughs> here. Remand. We're not. We're blink our wall. Okay, 
so I still think the best bet here is to just pass. And we're not going to swing with the rest, though, because we may very well need to tap that for this cord. So our opponent tapped earlier like they had a remand. Um, Because we could go cord right now for Shalai. And if they have the remand, it would just bounce back to our hand. Our creatures are all tapped out. Man, we can't do anything with it. And then they most likely go off. Because we're not going to be able to respond to them. But if we wait, we're going to be in the exact same situation because of the remand anyway. Um, so yeah, that's kind of awkward. So we're just going to go for it with the cord. Dope to get the Shalai, counter this gifts, and then uh, then they have to go for the empty plan or our sweeper sweep the the Shalai and then pass it back to us, which would have been pretty cool. So they got plenty of mana, so I don't want to give them the extra card draw so that they can go Manamorphose into pass. So I'm gonna bin the Manamorphose and the past in flames, um, but this should be game here. That would be very impressive if our opponent just didn't win here. So. So we want the idol on here. We also want the oozes. And then I want the abrades to take out their stuff. Hunt master, we do not need. Finks, I don't need. Good with just one kiki here. And we're gonna make that swap. Let's run it.
this hand has tons of cyborg cards, which is fantastic. Um, got to keep that bird alive to cast most of our spells, but I'm sure that's fine. Probably start off with a breeding pool and then a sacred foundry, I'm thinking. We are down to four cards. We are good with that four cards. on here into evolution to try to win. So I kind of want to keep the reflector, I guess. Keeping the idol on itself is more relevant. Yeah. We'll play the reflector out and then evolution that away. Just swing right now, see if they want to tap out for anything, and then run out the resto if they do, because we can bounce it back to their hand and then go for the Eldritch, because I would really hate um, losing our Eldritch and our Reflector Mage to a Counterspell. They've only got four cards, so they're not really in any position to combo off at a reasonable rate, so anything we can do to slow... Um, to not give away the game is going to be good for us. So. necessarily need to shock ourselves here uh, but I do want to cast that resto the only thing we need double white for is sun time hmm. grabbing a green source would be the I feel like the correct play just in case our birds gets mixed Shockers, I was gonna work out to 11. We can make storming off of them real easy. That's fine, right? That's fine. Um, yeah, I want to grab a grain source here. I, I don't want to get screwed over if we lose our. Power. Run up the resto. They'll just resolve it. We're gonna blink our deceiver, tap down the mana source. Thanks for joining. Playing some uh, Resto Vanifar right now. I think the deck should be listed on Stream Decker on the description, so if you guys do want to check out the deck. Alright, we 
we could go for the Eldritch right now. We win. I can run up the wall first. So we're gonna do that. We're gonna get rid of our reflector. See if this resolves. How many duels they have? I feel like we should almost bring in our. Yeah, man, okay. Bring in our Magnus of the Moon. Shut them out. going to be too resource light to go off but they could like lord ritual ritual metamorphos gifts win should be a good sign for us that they're starting off in the metamorphos they're going off means they don't have an answer to the Eldritch, I would imagine, so. Another opt. Thanks everyone that's joining. We're uh, playing Resto Vanifar. The deck should be on the descriptions for stream decker we're going to be jamming this league and then we're going to be jumping over to a mardu mid-range list that my friend reese has been playing a ton and doing pretty well are they seeing a grape shot here yeah okay okay opponent i'm gonna kill our rest of land we still win no wait I don't think we can cast we, we're bound by the Eidolon thing too so if we cast Eidolon we can't uh, we won't be able to cast a bunch of spells I do not believe I'll confirm but I'm pretty sure that's correct gonna run it back here. Obviously we got pretty lucky with them having to mold down to four. But we still crushed it. We're the greatest. <laughs> Yeah. 
And we are already 1 and 0. Oh. This was the list that I was really close to running at um, the event in Frankenmuth this last weekend, and I just wasn't. 100% with the list at last minute. I switched back to Mono Green Tron and I got absolutely stomped. I uh, went against three burn decks and at, uh, not at nose, but um, what is it? Amulet tie in. And I managed to squeeze out only one match against burn. I always get really sad about the fact that I can like drop a turn three worm coil now and it just doesn't mean anything. Like they just get past it. <laughs> Alright, this hand's not doing much. We're gonna go turn two wall of roots into nothing into nothing into zealous and then turn six kiki, so we can't keep this. This hand's pretty rough too, to be honest. Like we're gonna have to go wall roots into Ewit to get back the land and then Vanifar, so we're not looking at doing anything until turn four, but we'll keep it because it does have Vanifar and we can accelerate into it to try to find an answer for them. And we don't need another land. I'd rather try to find one of our cards that we're really hoping for. Sideboard cards would be sweet, but we get another fan of mine. You know, it's the name of the deck. Why not? Man, if these were birthing pods, whew. we can go wall of roots into birthing pod sack. Be dope. All four Vanifars, they are out to party. I'm gonna grab a Sacred Foundry here, I think. Um, it does put us in a position where if they get rid of the, like, you know, fade the wall one turn, we'll be in a good situation, but. That's okay. this over see what they got for us so it's pretty rough like i said we're gonna have to go even next turn i know we sent a land away but we're really we're just digging for this one because we have another land locked away with the see what so It might have been the correct call to get that land, but that way we could just be playing Red, um, Manifar this turn, but uh, I didn't think we'd draw a bunch more Manifars. <laughs> Not doing much here other than just running out the Vanifar. If they don't do anything and we get to untap, then we have everything we need to go off and win. Because we can go wall into the Seaver, E wit into Resto, Resto wants the Seaver, and then sack Resto for Kiki Jiki. Um, so let's see what they got for us. If they get rid of one of these, like let's say they get rid of the Vanifar, then we're gonna have to do the same thing and just run out Vanifar and wait. Um, if they get rid of the Ewit, that's fine because we have a Resto in hand. So.
think opponent must be trying to figure out if they can storm off right now. trying to see if they can wait a turn but they can't they're dead if they just pass unless they have an interaction spell just sit and wait Oh, and I should be able to stream on Sunday, like normal, but next week, Wednesday, I will not have to travel for work for some training, and I'll be out of the city until quite late, so. for that long to cast a ritual and then think some more. And shock themselves. Are they storming off the hard way? Because I would like to be really sad if they stormed off without a lord. Okay, they're going for the, oh, okay, they're just trying to kill our mana far. They're going to remain grape shot room, and then grape shot again. Makes sense. Killing our e Oh my gosh. How rude of them. I haven't cracked this Windswept yet because I don't know if we'll need uh, a red source or another white source. Because we can't grab another Sacred Foundry because there's only one in our deck. And we may need a Temple Garden for the extra white source. Um, but if we need the extra red source, then I'm um, trying to get closer to like the other Kiki, then that's the other option we have. And we want to make sure that we do it properly. That is one dead Banifar. Okay, so we are just going to run out this bird. stomping ground here for the extra red source. So. And see what they got. They weren't ready for that backup van of fire. They don't know that we got two more backups. I 
I swear if this Vanifer dies till both grave show up. <laughs> That's definitely what it's dying to. Oh my god. And our bird's dead too. Bye bird. <laughs> Bye Vanifer. Like how mad do you think our opponent's gonna be once we drop this? <laughs> Oh, I could run out Script Ranger as well, but, um, yeah. It's gonna be necessary to go off, so I guess we might as well. We're gonna have to shock ourselves, though. Oh, wait. Yeah, run out the Script Ranger, tap for a green, untap, bounce, yeah. Oh. Uh, Third copy. Let's see if they kill this one as well. <laughs> oh. On the plus side, this should mean they can't kill us. So. Come on, opponent. Give up. We're gonna combo off. And we're gonna kill you. our turn yay okay so we can't add the mana to wall of before we sack it and i want to hold up the script just for the extra untap here so we're just going to get rid of the wall of roots some more okay and we're gonna get a deceiver we're gonna go for the untap on the prime speaker and then we have to rest all right now Sack the scrib, get the rest. No, sack, sack the scrib. And then we have to just cast the rest though on the deceiver. That should be fine. I, I don't know if there's, I don't really don't know if there's anything our opponent can do in response to punish us. But too badly anyway. So we're gonna go resto. And we're gonna attempt to blink this deceiver. Get the Kiki Jiki. Kiki Jiki's gonna try to go off. Opponent's got the bolts. What does the opponent got? Gifts. Okay, well we can't respond to that. That's all we could. Let's see what they gifts. Because we can untap uh, Kiki Jiki here. Search for a bolt, we'll just spin it. I don't think they normally run another one mana damage spell. Yeah. We've got one card in hand. So we're gonna put the lightning bolt and the echoing truth in the graveyard. Yeah, yeah. Two and zero, oh. Undefeated. Love this deck. Uh, 
So we are playing Vanifar Resto, folks, and we are 2-0. and oh. And this hand is pretty solid, so we're going to go ahead and keep it. Go bird into wall. Not sure what kind of value. Oh, heads up in harbor. Okay, okay. temple bird. Bird, pass it over. And what does our opponent have in store for us? Some kind of soul type goodness. I'm so used to calling this the deck bug. They abrupt decay our bird? Oh my gosh. How rude. Good thing we've got this wall. Okay, okay. I'll make us uh, gain a bunch of life. Alright, so we are going to sack this and get a red source. We're going to stop those. We are going to shock ourselves. Run out the rallier. Rallier is going to bring back our windswept. I'm going to pass it over. So they're down to just a few cards, so we're going to try to just go for this one. Grabbing a Sacred Foundry, I'm going to shock myself, and I'm going to try to cast a Resto. To blink this Renegade. I got a Cryptic. Alright, that's Cryptic. So then we're just going to this one by tapped. It's like Reclamation Time Warp. Yeah, it's definitely seems like it. They got double Reclamation. Okay. Well, we needed that Resto, unfortunately, to get our other red source. We can go for Vanifar at the end of the turn, which seems fine. So we'll shock ourselves here, canceling with the Rallier. Or I guess what we can do is just cast Zealous, steal their Reclamation, and then play the Breeding Pool and then it untaps our lands. Um, that still could only let us cord for three though. So we have to hold back a, a creature, but it seems fine. Thanks for joining us, Reese. We're playing your deck next, by the way. So I'm going to jam a league with this deck and then jump on yours. Hopefully I don't have time. Technically I need to finish a paper, but I'm like halfway done already, you know. They're going to push. They don't have revolt. I 
I guess we don't actually need, we just need a red source. We could just cord for like one. So we're just gonna swap. <laughs> They run any creatures and they're just pretty much looping their uh, time walk spells. Debatably, bringing in Nidal on here is relevant because then they could just they have to just do the time walk and rely on a walker. Um, don't need the reflector and I don't need the Phanx. So let's run it with that. into Eidolon. Let's try it out. I want to see how good Eidolon is. Yeah, yeah, I 
Victory Race, Magus will definitely have, has the chance to get them pretty early, which would be great. I'm gonna grab a steam vents here. Swing with the idol on here. I just want to be able to fetch up with knight if I need to. Sometime in our turn to bring back that idol on. I think it's in the uh, control mode. Sure seems like it. Uh, I'm grabbing the other red source here, and I'm also going to grab the Sacred Foundry because I want another red source just in case something happens. for Shalai and save it. But I think I'd rather just run out this sometime.
consume the meek. Hmm. We're still going to be able to core for four after that. Not happy. We could tap them for mana, let them go, and get our Kiki Jiki right now. That doesn't seem bad at all. So let's do that. And we can get the Kiki right now, tapping these down. So I'm just going to grab an extra uh, green source here. Right, so I'm going to combat. Let's see if we copy the sun time, they just kill it in response. If we swing, they are going to. Uh, that we swing to kill it in response, which is unfortunate. Yes, yeah, so we're just going to go to combat. Yeah, we could have gone for the infinite turn, but they have a hero's downfall, so I want them to. Oh, no, yeah, infinite turn. We could have gone. We could have gone infinite ourselves with tokens and gone for the swing, but they would have just killed ours in response. Receiver threat.
this will make a bunch. And they shouldn't be able to respond to us. Three and oh. Let's go for that money. It's all money from here. So how's everybody doing tonight? You are halfway through the week. Or, I guess anyone working a regular job schedule. Make a copy of the Sun Titan before I attacked. Is that what you're saying? Okay, you're saying so we do the line of make the copy on the sun time, they're gonna in response kill it, and then because of that, um, they're gonna kill it and then we go evolution on our on our creature and go get our answer. Is that what you're saying? Yeah, that that's that makes a lot of sense. Okay, they're conceding. We got there. We're really good at this. All right, I want the abrades, and I wouldn't mind bringing in one thrag tusk. Looks like we're against humans. We don't need graveyard interaction, and I'm not too big of a fan of bringing in knights here, um, even if it can blow up like their their artifact. I'd rather deal with the creatures most of the time and. It's never gonna really be big enough, so I, I, I'm gonna focus on just these. I'm gonna take out one Kiki. I like Huntmaster. Sun Titan is a pretty big threat. If we can land it, and then it can bring back a lot of value for us. Okay. So I'm gonna cut. I'm gonna cut one cord here and one resto. The thing should be great to just absorb a lot of free attack uh, attacks for us, as long as they're the ground pounders and in the sky. At least we can block a little bit of it. And then we're going to try to get some value off the reflector and restos. We got some removals and we can threaten our combos. It's great. Evolution and cord in our hand means it's pretty much as a mole already. So we're gonna mole. We don't have a green source. Man, if we had a green source, this would be great. Ow. I don't think I can keep this, right? <laughs> like, I might be able to cast Finks in two turns. 
We're on the draw, and we have a scry to try to hit a green source. This hand seems so sketchy. Oh. This hand has a lot of what we want, though. It has interaction um, with the Huntmaster. It's got quality creatures. Just doesn't have a single green source, though. I, I think we have to be reasonable and ship it. Okay, we'll keep the Lit Bird hand. before we cast you, bro. I'm like the opposite right now, Reese. I've been waking up at 5.30 all week. This is like such a huge change for me. I'm so used to waking up at like 7 in the morning. Kiki. We can play this and pass. We're gonna get a wolf. Probably not gonna cat, uh, crack this wooded foothills quite yet, um, just because the cards in our hand require either triple green, double white, or triple red, which is pretty rough, um, <laughs> you know, because we play such a greedy mana base. Because um, I'd want to grab just like a sacred foundry, but we may need to hold on to it so we can get triple green first and then worry about getting the, everything else. Meddling Mage. I think Wall of Roots. Okay. We're taking a If we can get this Kiki Jiki going with this Reflector Mage, that's gonna be dope. our reflector mage. And we're gonna take a bunch 
bunch of damage. I'm pretty sure we have to cord. And we have to get a, another land now. Because I don't think we're going to be able to afford to take damage later. So I'm going to go with a temple garden here. And not really worry about the Kikijiki right now. That's enough. We can rest to unblock two things and then we'll still die. Yeah. Yeah, they just, they just said too much and we don't have enough. So, unless they do a light attack for some reason, and they go with a light attack. Copy their copy our resto blink our no copy reflector blink our resto and then we lose. Oh, they're gonna okay. It's gonna remove their reflector mage from combat. They're still giving us a turn though. I guess it's not a good turn by any means. We're gonna block here and take damage with two. Miraculously draw a white spell and a wrath. Yeah, we're not here. All right, let's try this again. Alright, this hand's uh, somewhat reasonable. We're ramping into a Kiki Jiki for sure. He's got to get something else to do with it. to have it in, out there in case I kiki and start having a relevant creature to target. Just right, and they're gonna start beating us with the four. Draw more lands. It's exactly what we've always 
streamed off. We need them to slow their roll right now. And we need to draw something relevant right now. Okay, that's not good for us. They're gonna six us. I mean, eight us. Great is not good enough. And if we run out Kiki, we can copy our bird, but um, it's not going to mean much. Yeah, this. I guess we can buy a turn, right? No, because we don't have the basic come out in our in our list, and we have to tap the. Um, We'd have to tap the Kiki Jiki in order to play. Um, I mean, tap the bird to play the Kiki Jiki, which means we wouldn't have two flyers, because if we had like two birds here, we could black block and try to buy an extra turn. But uh, yeah, we are dead. Oof. Unfortunate. All right, go for the 4 1. So are you staying up playing Warframe, Reese, or what else were you, what were you playing? Mm, similar issue here, so we're going to mull this. Alright, we'll keep this. Ramp into Vanifar and see if we win. So it doesn't matter. Just gonna go here. I just played Magic this time. That's reasonable, man. Were you playing the Mardu deck we're about to play? Or were you playing something else? right now we're going against blue white control we could just swing with the noble see if they do anything and then we'd be able to cord for two which doesn't seem too bad and if they react to this we could run out the banifar Of 
recording for two just doesn't really do anything for us. We're just gonna run out mana far. See what they got for us. Counter, counter. Okay. Definitely white and definitely red, so I'm just gonna go with Sacred Foundry. Swept. Uh, so we could. I think we're just gonna pass because I'd love to be able to cord for um, for a Vanifar. So I wouldn't mind cording for just a minute either here. Just to bring back the cord. Sun Titan's great. Jaced out of this game. I know it. I'm probably dead, but there's like an outside chance that I can zealous their chase and halt them with it. And I would love to do that. But with them discounting every turn, I'm not gonna really reasonably cast that. But there is a chance. 
If they keep putting things at the top of our deck, though, there's not a chance. You know, Reese, I know you're gonna what well, you're gonna tell me. Right now. Right now out of all times, rhythm would would have just wrecked this opponent. <laughs> My fantastical image. Oh uh... I'm sure they, they rarely ever get to do it. We're just dead, though. We're just going to move on with our lives. Alrighty. So, I want the Thrags. The Thruns. The Trackers. The Oozes. That's the package we want to bring in. Don't need reflector. Don't necessarily need those finks. We're gonna, yeah, we don't need the finks. I'm gonna get rid of a couple of these evolutions. That is really punishing. We'll keep one finks. I'm just going to fetch up a planes here. Source, we can get it tapped though. Well, if we get it untapped, we could deceive them.
have a breeding pool here, so it opens it up to courting. And deceiver then. were awesome like that. the deceiver. for four. You just have to make sure to get a green source to do it. Oh, no. We're good. We have a floating green. So we'll do it for four, and we'll snag a hot master. I don't, I'd rather have that shown than our um, than our throne. And well, four power, we'll zealous, and kill them. Boom. Okay. I feel like Magus could catch him off guard pretty well, but seems like a, it seems a bit greedy, a bit greedy. I can I, I gotta say I've been loving Magus being able to cord it up at three when people aren't expecting it just to blow them out is just amazing. Hmm. Let's see if not doing anything, so we're gonna have to hold. This hand's a bit slow, but it's got ramp into Deceiver, and see if we can get there with that. Um, I guess that's good, because we can just go for the, the setup this way. We have to go to Stomping Ground, into Staker Foundry, into Steam Vents. For some reason, just like tap out improperly, we win. I'm not going to deceive them on our next turn here. Um, I might script them. On. Yes, script seems great. So we're gonna... Everything up. 
They are in dig mode though, which should be good for us. And they really are digging for something. Resto. Gosh, I clicked through it. I hate myself so much right now. So much hate for myself. for the Kiki here, they could counter it. <laughs> they don't have it, we win. If they have a path, we win. to make a resto.
Okay. Hmm. So we didn't have a cord. I thought I could really do to stop this. Yeah. Alrighty. They probably got a wrath for us. Ooh, a detention sphere. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh wow okay they didn't realize that we blink with resto instead of untapping <laughs> oh that was great Okay, so that is it for this deck. This is, uh, I'm very happy with this current version. I think it's very close to where I want it to be. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and end the recording.